get a little light on the situation. <laughs> Hey guys, Bobby Gasher. I'm already into the kids' Halloween candy. I gotta buy this stuff the day before Halloween. I can't be buying it ahead of time. I was out uh, the other day and I, I grabbed some records. A bunch of 45s and uh, an album. Now the album, I may as well show that first. The album was... Uh, here, here's the album here. I'll read what it says on it here. It says, uh, Psych Rock. Well, I was looking through the new arrivals, and I seen he had four four boxes of new arrivals, and I was going through them, and, you know, not seeing anything I like. I did see a Muddy Waters uh, album that interested me, but I had all the songs already on other albums. And I, I forget the other album that interested but I come across this one here, and... It said on it, Psych Rock, 1999, Near Mint, Near Mint, you know, the record on the sleeve, original 2015 pressing, first studio album, USA pressing, includes insert. So I said to myself, well, shit, I haven't bought anything in a, in a long time on a spec. Yeah, like a week or two. <laughs> so I thought I'd get it. And I never realized that that was a picture of two doggies before, uh, until I got it home and looked at it closely. And on the back, it says the name of the song and the album, which is Creatures of Space. And it's, the name of it is called Reinar 7. W-R-Y-N-A-R-7. Reinar. Now that sounds like a planet from Star Trek, don't it? <laughs> It does to me, anyhow. And the album, when I took it out, I was looking at this, you know, neat little spaceship thing there, and I, I pull it out, and I'm looking at it, and what I'm seeing, I don't know if you can spot that or not, but it looks like smudges and stuff all over it, right? And I rub an edge with a finger, and and I start looking at under under the light, and I realize it's a, I don't know some sort of marble <laughs> vinyl, right? <laughs> this side is blank, nothing on it. And that side is Reinar Seven, Creatures of Space. <coughs> <coughs> So what I did, my turntable's down right now. It's got some static in it, so I gotta fix that. And uh, what I did is, so what I tried to do is I tried to uh, look it up on the internet, right? First thing I did was I go to YouTube. I can't find it. So I try other spots to, uh, to get it. Can't find it. Discogs, can't find it. I'm trying it all over the place to, to find out what I can about the record. I can't play it. So finally, I uh, I get some place here. Let me let me get it here and show it to you. Well, read it to you. Where the hell is it there? New finds? Yeah. I'm getting up. Uh, I, I put it down on. I copied the, what the guy had to say about the album. This is the only piece of information I could find about the album, period, and about the band. The only piece. And I'll read it to you. So Stevie Ray Vaughan, Meatloaf, Van Morrison, and your stoner uncle's drony psycho jam band walk into a bar. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what the punchline might be, but involves creatures of space and they're downright baffling Bat shit odd LP. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is probably way, way outside the vast majority of Razor Cake readers' interest. Weird indeed. Oh yeah, Razor Cake is where I got this, whatever the hell that is. Weird indeed. Yeah, I'm not weird, you know, and uh, so I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this record. The damn thing cost me, you know, 20 bucks, you know, plus tax and all of that, so... You know, 
Well, you know, that's what happens. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. I don't know. I haven't heard it yet, you know. Maybe something really, really far out there is going to really, really please me. <laughs> and I got some 45s. Uh, I picked up this British copy of uh, Rainbow all night long on a Polydor label. And that's uh, not a bad song. It's a good song. Maybe I should play a little piece for you here. No, we'll just show your records. I was going to play some of this stuff. But on the flip side of this is uh, uh, Weisheim. That's uh, Richie Blackmore, uh, you know, really showing you some smooth, you know, calm guitar work. Eh? That's, that's a pretty good song. Actually, they're both good songs. Uh, Weisheim and uh, what the hell was the other one? Uh, All Night Long. I also got a promo copy of Van Morrison, a record off of his T Tupelo album, straight uh, to your heart like a cannonball, stereo on one side and promo on the other. That was seven ninety nine. that one there. I bought this one here. I looked at it. <coughs> East West, The Catwalk. A promo copy and it was nineteen ninety nine, but he had it on sale for half price. I didn't know, I thought it was nine ninety nine. Does that look like nineteen ninety nine or nine ninety nine? To me it looked like nine ninety nine, so I figured half price five bucks. I didn't know it's the Kingsman, right? Louis Louis? And I figured, well, this must be I don't know this, the cat walk and on the flip side is Congo Rock. And I I didn't know either of these songs by the Kingsman. I thought it might be something earlier. You know, uh, I know it's earlier because that's an early East West uh, uh, label, and I knew it was earlier, uh, so I figured I was getting a score here. But when I took it up to buy it, like he says it was 1999, uh, and uh, I says, wait a minute, I thought it says 9.99. He says, I'm not paying no half price ten dollars for a 45. I says, I only do that on the internet. <laughs> He's thinking, oh well, well, well. I said, I paid $5 for it. He says, give me 7 And I still thought it was the Kingsman. And I figured an early score on a, you know, Louis Louis Bands, you know, I figured I was getting a score and I bought it. But I, this can't, this is 1958. And this ain't the Kingsman. I, you know, uh, Conga Rock, look, you know, Google it. It, it ain't. I mean, it was, it got in the top 158, uh, the record, from what I could see and look. But it's, uh, I don't, it's not really rock and roll to me. It's kind of, I don't know, what your adults think of was rock and roll in 58, you know. <laughs> they might put it on the record player at a dinner party some evening, right? <laughs> Thinking it's rock and roll. I also got uh, the Bangles, Magic Monday. Joe Walsh, Mother Says. I've seen Joe uh, quite a few times. I guess the first time, 1970, might have been 69. Seen him with the James Gang. Then on his own. Colin James, voodoo thing. That guy plays my bar. Right? He's a Canadian sort of rock blues guy, right? Good, good guitar player. He's played my bar a number of times. Although I think uh, this month he's going up to the big casino, Casino Rama, or one of the casinos he's playing a big venue. You know, you, you work where you can. <laughs> Look what they done to my song, The New Seekers. Look what they done to my song, Ma. <laughs> oh, yeah. On a repress label, the old Columbia Hall of Fame uh, label, the uh, Wabash Cannonball by Roy, a o Roy Acuff and his uh, Smoky Mountain Boys. Yeah, that's a great tune. I like the country. Nazareth, this flight tonight and go down fighting. And last but not least, Rumors by the Social Club. And on the flip side, Rumors. One side, 338. 
Side two is a three hundred three minute and thirty eight song, and uh, side one is four twelve. Rumors. Well, guys, that's uh, that's my uh, my latest finds. Kids won't have no candy when I get through with all of that goddamn shit over there. I like the candy kisses. Later. Halloween's coming. I'm going to steal all the kids' Unicef boxes. <laughs>